Hi, this is going to be a quick video that will eventually drag on for 15 minutes on how to batch convert files using Darktable. I've been experimenting with developing photos in Blender and quite a few people asked how I get my camera files into Blender. Simple, I open Darktable, select the file and click export. Job's done. Now I have a folder full of EXRs. That's all there is to it, if you spend the time setting all the presets up. Two, to be precise. One for the style, the other one for the export options. Let's have a look at how to batch process or batch convert camera native data files, also known as RAW files. To get the most of our captures, I'm going to try and lose as little data as possible, while still maintaining a sensible file size. OpenEXR, as the name suggests, is an open source file format developed by Industrial Light and Magic. Yes, the same people who took part in all these films we all like. All of them. Let's not get too hung up on the file format for now. Let me just show you how to create presets for batch jobs in Darktable. And by the way, if you don't care about making your own presets, I will include mine in the video description. To import a style, simply expand Apply Styles and hit Import. To import a preset, go to Settings, Presets and click Import. Before we do anything, if this is the first time you're running Darktable, make sure you go to Settings, Processing and set the Auto Apply Chromatic Adaptation defaults to Modern. Then simply close the window. Ok, let's import some captures. Simply select your camera files and drag and drop them into the light table section. Now select any of them and move to darkroom. We will create a style that we will be able to reuse later. We have some of the modules active already, but we don't need all of them right now. In my case, for exporting linear Rec. 709 EXRs, I want only the basics with a couple of extras. The basics include the white balance module, which is required for the demosaic module. We'll keep orientation. I don't really care about exposure at this point. For color calibration module, I want to bypass it, but keep the clip negative RGB from gamut box ticked. I don't want to sharpen, I don't want filmic RGB, and I want to set the output color profile to linear Rec. 709. That's it, let's jump back to Lighttable. Time to save and bake those modules and their settings into a style. Expand the Apply Styles module and click Create. Now we need to pay attention here a little bit. Notice how not all of the modules are enabled. For example, we turned off the exposure module and we want to include that in our style. So we need to include the module that is off. Similarly, we disabled filmic RGB that is disabled. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Include all the modules we want to apply to our imported files. Give it the name. I'll call it EXR out and click save. Okay, we've got our style done which means that we can apply it to newly imported images, like that. But we don't want to do this manually. That's what we have Darktable for. Let's jump to export settings. Yours might be on the right side, depending on whose Darktable you're on. In the export settings, we have a line called style. And in the dropdown, we can select our style that we just created. This means that Darktable will export a selected image and apply a chosen style automatically. Other settings that we might need to change for EXR, EXR is bit depth and compression. Let's keep it on BIZ. The target storage has a couple of neat tricks up its sleeve. You can sort of program it to do interesting things. Type in the dollar sign and an open bracket to see all the possible operands. The default one is file folder, then your export folder, I'll call it my export EXR, and dollar sign open bracket file name. 
This will create an export EXR folder in the original folder where these files are located and then create an EXR based on its file name. And lastly, for profile, select linear rec 709. I know we set this in the color profile in the style, but I just want to be sure that we are definitely exporting linear rec 709 EXRs. After all these settings are set, I'm going to save another preset, but this time is going to affect the export module. I'm going to call it export underscore EXR. Okay. Now, just because we can, I'm going to reset the module and I'm going to make a preset for a simple JPEG export. So I can switch between the two at will. For the target storage, I'm going to call it simply JPEG. I'm going to change the file format to JPEG 90% and I want the images to fit into 3000 by 3000 size. Set the profile to sRGB, web safe. And let's keep the style at none. I'm going to save this preset as well. Call it export JPEG. Now we can switch between these two at will and we can export either EXRs or JPEGs with a squeeze of a mouse. Let's give it a go. Export. And if we go back to the original folder, you will notice that there's a new JPEG folder with our crappy undeveloped JPEGs. Okay, that goes straight to the bin. That's pretty much for this video. Let me know if you're interested in my experiments with photos in Blender. Don't hesitate to drop a comment. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you soon. Bye.